Hello, what is up everyone? It's Sunja Danette here with the live recording of Roadmap Street Signs Indie Artist Showcase with Sunja Danette. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> I am here today with none other than the amazing, incredible, prolific rapper, um, Sony entertainment artist, Tilt Williams. That's what right. is up? What's going on, world? <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? <laughs> Absolutely. So we have an incredible show for you today. And we're going to be really getting in, listening to your music, right. listening to your story, you know, because we want to know, we want to know what you're doing, we want to know what's going on. And um, so that's what we're going to be talking about. And of course, you know, we we have some shared interests, right? That's right. <laughs> that's right. So we're going to also get into that. We're going to get into it. Did you look over your questions? I bet you did. Did you look over your questions? No, I actually didn't. <laughs> I mean, I just, whatever you need to ask me. Just, you know, we'll talk about rappers, but the rappers, they don't look at the questions. No, that is gonna, so we just, funny. We just don't oh talk my about God. Everything. <laughs> everything is on the back. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> yes. So, have to give a major shout out to Unapologetically Creative Network for streaming this show on Spotify, Most Stitcher, Podbeam and Apple Podcasts, you're able to go and listen to the audio. Um, it will be available probably in the next few weeks. Okay. All right. All right. So let's get into it. Tilt Williams. Hey. Yeah. So <laughs> how did you get started? Tell us, you know, a little bit about yourself. Okay. Oh, we. Ah, man. I got started uh, by round what? Ninth grade year at Josie. Mm. Um, I started rapping and rapping, and meet, met, I met a couple of other artists that at the time was going to school with me. Um, we all, you know, just got like, you know, all the area, and then we just started rapping, and people like to hear us rap. He's come get me to battle folks and everything, and <laughs> so you know, during school years, I just started, you know. That's something that I wanted to do, you know, and I said that when I graduate, this is what I want to do, you know, jump from leaving high school straight into the entertainment business. So I just kept pursuing it. Um, 05 and all the way up to now, but I kind of took it very serious. But um, I just stayed at it. You know, I had a lot of family members, they did music and they still do music. You know, they always pushed me to do it, you know, but I, at the time I wasn't, well, I ain't wanted to rap, but you know, it's just all in the family, so I just <laughs> just started doing it. <laughs> that is awesome, and you really, you know, made your decision at such an, an early, early age. age. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's advantageous. Um, right. So, is that the plan for the rest of your life, or is that um, like, what's... Yeah, music most definitely, um, my uh, first uh, passion, um, probably like a little acting tool, um, okay. probably next or so, okay. uh, just being a businessman, man, I just owning a lot of stuff. Owning a lot of stuff, okay. <laughs> Sign, seal, and do Hey, <laughs> that is awesome. Right. So you started in high school, you're a rapper, but describe your message. What's your main thing? Because a lot of rappers out there you know, we already know what it's about. Drugs, sex, and money, right? You know, so <laughs> yeah. what makes you different? What sets you apart as, as an artist, a rap artist? Um, well, I'm universal. So my music is, is different. You know, I try to be on a different level from everybody. Uh, like with pop, techno, country, alternative. I try to do different things. I, my music, I talk about what's going on, life. Uh, I do music for the kids, do play different things. I just don't want to be that artist that's stuck in that one box with talking about the same thing right. that the other artists talk about. So I just try to give y'all like a little hip hop, R and B, uh, sometimes a little rap with country, that's stuff it. like that. Just just to keep it generating <laughs> and keep it going and 
Give it up to my means. Okay, that's awesome. It's important to be flexible. It's important to um, definitely, you know, explore, explore yeah. your your artistry, your craft. Yeah. So, who is your audience? Mm, my audience, the ladies. The ladies, ladies love too. La- ladies love too. <laughs> ladies love too. Most definitely. <laughs> What they call me, the Dimple King. Oh, right now. Mr. Um, what they call it's, it's so many names they got for me. But I just, I say, hey, just call what you want to call me. Okay. You know, I'm just going to ride with it. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So, what artists influence you the most in your artistry? Oh, my favorite. Uh, T.I., uh, Nelly, um, Ludacris, 50 Cent. Eminem, Twister, you know, just some of the greats. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Some of the and greatest. I actually can hear some of those influences <laughs> um, in your music. I could definitely, I can right. see that. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what does a successful artist look like to you? What is your your definition of success? Oh uh, man, um, just. I mean that artist gotta stay on top of his game, man. Once you're at the top, you gotta you gotta maintain that spot. You know, music or whatever you doing, music, um, acting, you own some businesses, um, endorsement deals, all that stuff. You just gotta stay at the top of that. You know, because sometimes it be the people that don't really want it like that, but they come at a, it comes, you know, at us at so many ways and and so many times. So. Okay. Gotta stay at the top of your game. Stay on your game. That's right. Stay That's on your right. game. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Now, tell us what are you currently working on? Um, I got a new single. Uh, it's called Why Did You Do It? Uh, Future Boss Man King. I just did one with uh, also my, my cousin, uh, Urban Mystic. We did uh, got a single called Fashion that we uh, finna release and do the, uh, the video to. Um, we actually going to probably shoot that um, in a lot video fashion. Mm-hmm. So we definitely got that coming up. Okay. It's coming aboard. You know, just awesome. dropping. Got a lot of them coming behind each other. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. how you do it. Stay in your game, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So what we're about to do is listen to a couple of your pieces. The one you sent to me. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I ain't too long did flawless too. Yes, flawless. flawless. Uh, Tell us about with, flawless. Um, flawless is it's a song for the for the the independent ladies who want the game and mm-hmm. beautiful and on point with everything. Um, me and uh, Hennessy Williams, we uh we did that. You know, he sent the uh, the track to me, and we um I just started writing to it. I knew I knew the song was a hit when I. When I first started writing it, I'm driving down the road. I'm, I'm matter of fact, I'm on Golden Highway, mm-hmm. listening to the song. Soon as he sent it to me, listening to it, I got my pad and my my passenger seat. I'm just writing. I said, you know, everybody, <laughs> just I'm just vibing with head. I got I got my other people they listening to it, cause they thought they said it sound like Jaheen. I said, no, nah, that ain't Jaheen on that man. That's uh. Got a Hennessy Williams. You're from Gus and the RV singer. Shout out to Hennessy yeah. Williams. Yeah. And Good. so uh <laughs> we came together, we did the um we did the track, man, and probably like a couple of us uh, ended up doing a video. Yes. We did the video. The video came out so perfect. It, it like is, it's very nice. Yeah. I looked at it. It was so uh, nice. that was a twelve hour shoot with uh, the video, man. Mm-mm. So like sun up, sun down <laughs> without but it's, it's doing numbers and everything is and it's been presented presented well and and, and it's still doing numbers. Okay. I get a lot of uh, a lot of comments from um, a lot of fans. They in my inbox. They like till we love that song flawless and um, they had a little TikTok. That is actually on TikTok too. So okay. y'all, if y'all want to oh. check yes. out flawless on, flawless uh, on TikTok. On TikTok is on there also, and uh, you know they do their little video and. And they send it to me and stuff like that. I say, man, keep supporting it. Get your friends to share it. Y'all buy it or download it and <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, we are about to take a listen to 
to flawless. Okay. All right. Un momento. Make sure it's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Shot some up here and some in Atlanta. Okay. You know, I have my own personal share of these. Flawless in a woman. 
Um, from head to toe, she's on point with all her the wardrobe. Flawless can be anything with women taking care of the independent, single moms taking care of the kids. Um, they on point with um, their bills, um, anything Any like that. Bills? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because a lot of a lot of independent women, flawless independent women, don't need you know a man. So that's why I put flaws can be different on every occasion. <laughs> Someone asked who was that on the track. <laughs> that was Henny T. Williams and yeah, the Anderson. Tilt Williams, Sony Entertainment artist yeah, on nice. the track. That track is flawless. Who produced it? Um somebody uh Hennessy. Oh, I can't remember the guy. Um Yeah he, he Hennessy, do you remember who produced it? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, was Scarecrow Beats or somebody. <laughs> it was somebody. <laughs> Hi, Flex. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, okay, oh, cool. Prime music. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So, so, that's cool. This fashion. is fashion. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about fashion. This Ooh, is with yeah. um, Urban Mystic featuring Tilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fashion. What is this about? Yeah. Fashion, fashion. Designer clothes. Designer clothes. Fendi Gucci Louis Prada. Um, that's that's the title of the song, fashion. Fashion. But yes. fashion can be, you know, if I know a lot of women and a lot of uh, you know men, you know, they can't afford which is what we product. But it depends on your guy put on suit, gators, hat, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. A lady might put on her heels, a red bottle, okay. some step out. Fashion can be like anything, you know, yes. like you know, like flawless and fashion, and yes. stuff like that. But um. Me and um, Urban, we did that song um, not too long ago, okay. and uh, the song came out A one, so we was ready to go, and then okay. we were finna do the video. Oh. So we will be doing the casting call for uh, fashion in Atlanta, mm-hmm. and shooting that pretty soon, probably like another one or two. Okay, well yeah. we will definitely look out for it, and I'll definitely put it out there. Most you know definitely, what I'm most definitely, yes, most absolutely. Definitely, most All definitely. right, this is fashion <laughs> with Urban. Mystic. Oh yeah, that's wait, 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 wait. Urban Mystic is who? <laughs> wait. <laughs> who's Urban Mystic again? Who's that's, Urban Mystic? That's my cousin, man. That's yeah, your real I, life cousin. We actually, as a matter of fact, we'll be together on the 11th in um in uh, Greenwood, South Carolina, at the vault. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the producer for. Um, Flawless was Brandon O'Neill Williams. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it was another guy, O'Brien. I think it was O'Brien Music or something like that. Oh, no, that's what he said. Yeah, um, no, that's Urban's real name. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you putting a guy government name up here? Really? Is uh, that is that how we rolling? <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. Fashion is Urban Mystic featuring Tilt. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
wheels, big houses sitting on wheels, got real estate, no cap, that's fashion, Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Versace, Prada, a lot of diamonds, that's fashion, big trucks, big wheels, big houses sitting on wheels, got real estate, no cap, that's fashion. <laughs> so I do have a question for you. You know, I like to be deep. You know, I'm a Virgo. But let me tell you. So it's called fashion, and you talk about Gucci, Prada, Fendi, all of that. So in the black community, you know, that's like kind of a, a big, it's a big deal. Yeah, you know, it it's a huge deal. Um, yes, dressing and all of those, you know, top name brands, quote unquote, whether you were really you know wearing them or whether you are wearing right. something that is not them but still wearing what appears to be them right. but um how do you think that has influenced um the black community positively and negatively i want to um, know both sides of your thoughts it influenced the black community like it just they overwhelmed by it. you know they buy it all the time um we got some folk, you know, we had to go to Atlanta and get that type of stuff. It ain't really here like that. But um, I guess it's just, you know, we buying the name. You know, some people, you know, they just like, well, just look good. That's true. Yeah, that's true. You know I saying? mean, I don't think anything wrong with it if you can afford it. No, ain't nothing wrong with yeah. it. Ain't nothing wrong with it at all. Not but at all. I think um, the negative, you know, <laughs> aspect of it is when you cannot afford it and it yeah. becomes... It becomes, you know, just extremely important, even obsessive yeah, to yeah. many. Um, it's crazy, yeah. though, because they had, nah, not too long ago, it was on Facebook, like, the folks, they was getting a little stimulus money, and they was going to Atlanta, buy, try to buy the Gucci, and they were just spending all their money on mm. it, man. It was crazy. Right. Like, you know, and, you know, Gucci, Fendi, and Louis, probably all that ain't cheap. No. You're going to spend about two, two or three bands about them. Mm. You know, I'm not going to speak on that because that is not, I do not have a point of reference. I don't even have a point of reference, okay? Yeah. I was raised thriftily and I am still a thrift girl, okay? So I'm a proud yeah. thrifter, okay? But you know, most of all, they like, you know, they like, yes, you, know, but you can find some name store. brands in the thrift um, stores and the Goodwills at Buckhead, okay? Don't mm -hmm. play. Play with it. Play with it, okay? That's that's the only Fendi party you're going to see me in. Hey, all right? Hey, the rich folks shopping there too. So they, they sure do and look they, at you crazy when you get in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they keep, they keep their money. That's another money. conversation. That's another conversation. <laughs> another conversation. But yes, fashion, love it, love that beat. Do you know mm -hmm. who produced it? Yeah, uh, uh, Urban Mister. He, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, he just yeah. did. Okay. Yeah. I, I yeah, need to know himself. that. Because I like himself. that. I like that beat. That's cute. Then he called me the day and said it. Yes, that's dope. I yeah. like it. I it's like it. Man. Yes. Awesome. Now, so we can talk about that. Um, you are going to be collabing with Sandra <laughs> Jeanette. <laughs> Most definitely, most definitely. It's, it's, gone, it's already here. It's already yeah. here. You already know it. Because when I deliver, I'm going to deliver. So what What made you um, choose Sanjay Danette? I mean, is there are tons of artists you could have chosen. Yeah, to yeah. With. So, um, <clears throat> I just seen the vibe and, and your music and like like you do, like different genres of music. So that's, that's I mean, that's the thing that a lot of female artists that can't do, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, like Spanish and R and B and gospel and all yeah. that. So you got all three worlds. Okay. Well, and that what makes you stand out the most. And that's what make a lot of artists wanna work with you. Amen. With you. Yeah. Amen, Tilts. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why a lot of them work me too, you know. Like it's I universal. Said, yeah. That's it's right. universal. That's you gotta right. be a universal artist. You just can't be that one artist with that one general music. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. And again, this song is going to be for the ladies, right? Yes, for the ladies. A mm -hmm. duet. A duet. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And um, so that's going to be awesome. What's coming up? What do you have coming up? What's going on? Oh, next month I'll be uh, live in uh, Dover, Delaware. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I got uh, on the 23rd, September 23rd. 
I got Maryland on the 24th. And then I got New York on the 25th. And I got a couple of artists that I'm taking with me from the Ooh, city. 23rd, 24th, 25th. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to stay young. Ooh, yeah, to stay yes. Young. That's awesome. That's and, um, terrific. I got a couple of artists that I'm taking with me um, from the city. You know what I'm saying? I try to bring artists from my hometown and, you know, Atlanta area on the road with me. That's just awesome. Just try to get shine, man. And, you know, just let them do their thing. Man. That is awesome. like I said, ain't, at the time when I was doing it, you know, I didn't have the opportunity like for another artist to really take me on the road right. and open it up for them and do stuff like that. So I always try to reach out and reach back at people, man. Try to help everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, where can we follow you? Follow Tilt. Oh, they can follow me on Facebook, Tilt Williams. I'm also on there. They can follow me on IG at Tilt underscore Tilt One. And my YouTube channel is Tilt Williams. Awesome. Yeah. And where can we find your music? It's on, on all platforms. Apple iHeartMedia, uh, Pandora, Spotify, you know, all that. Yes, and if someone wants to book you or... Um, oh, they can hit my manager up, Jordan Daniels. Uh, his number is on my page, on my Tip Williams Facebook page. I also hit him up. You know, he'll give me the details and everything. And, hey, let's get to work. Awesome. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your audience? Oh, yeah. Y'all just stay tuned. I got some new stuff coming, new material, new music. I got a lot of new stuff coming, so y'all just wait. And me and Sound J finna do one also. Okay. So y'all just stay tuned for that. Yes. Well, thank you <laughs> so much, Tilt, for coming on the show. Most definitely. I greatly appreciate you. Greatly appreciate your time. All the time. Yes, absolutely. If you're an artist out there and you want to feature your music and tell your story across the globe, Yes, hit me up. Be inspired, be empowered, be educated, and please be entertained. <laughs> That's right. Peace out, y'all. It's Sunday Net. Bye. <laughs>